Hey everyone, it's Mona here, Craft Clatch, and today we're going to make paperweights out of these little creepy cicada skins. Okay, today I am working on a resin project and I have some Easy Cast mixed, and I keep finding these little cicada skins all over the place, so I thought, you know what, I'm putting them in resin. So I'm going to pour just a little bit in each. And I'm going to put these guys right in here. So I'm going to kind of try to drip some on. Now they do kind of have holes in their backs. So I just want to make sure that I get some of that resin in there. I really think I'm going to kind of let them pick their own position. Because otherwise I'll just be fighting it. So they kind of want to list over to the side, which is okay. I do have them covered with resin, so they should be okay for me to it with a lighter. Still want to kind of go quick, pop those bubbles. Okay, we'll leave these be for a while and then we will come back and add some more layers. And I have these in those little ice cube balls and I'll have a link to those in the description below. All right, I've mixed more of the Easy Cast and if you are ever looking for the resin that I'm using, the molds that I'm using, um, or anything else, if I can find it, I will link it in the description below. And I always have written directions over on my website if you're looking for them. And that's craftclotch.com. So I've mixed more resin and I'm going to pour it just to make sure the body is covered. I don't need any more than that quite yet. Pop the bubbles. I'll keep an eye on it. Pop the bubbles a couple more times. And then we're just going to let this set and then we're going to come back and do a background color. So I have about an ounce of the Easy Cast mixed and I have a half an ounce in one, half an ounce in the other. And I thought we would just try to go with some fun backgrounds. I'm going to use some pigment powder. I'll use a purple here. Mix it in. Pour it on the back of this one. And then I'm going to use some blue glitter on the other one just so we can see how these different backgrounds work out with these bugs. And we want to let that set and then we're going to just take our lighter, pop the bubbles, let it sit a minimum of, of 12 hours and then we will come back and unmold them. Our paper weights have cured. This guy's hanging out with me just to see how it went. And I'm a little worried that I may have gone with too dark of a background but I guess there's only one way to find out. And here it is. He almost looks like he's floating in outer space. And here's the other one with the pigment powder background. I think they turned out pretty cool. Um, I think if I find some more skins, I might try it with a lighter background just to see how they would look. So let me know what you think of them. I know some of you are going to be creeped out that I use the cicada skins, but they don't do anything. They're fine. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching me make paperweights out of these little creepy crawlies. Remember to subscribe while you're here so you don't miss a thing. Thanks again for watching and I will definitely see you next time. Remember life is too short not to shimmer so grab your glue gun and your glitter. Stay safe. Thanks guys.